Okay. So the Denver Broncos and Russell Wilson have a chance to do something really insane. So we all know the Broncos might release Russell Wilson. The problem with that is the contract they signed was a fully guaranteed deal, which means if they cut him, the Broncos still have to pay Russ the rest of that five-year, $250 million deal. And the Broncos don't want to do that, but they have to. So I don't know why they'd get rid of Russ when they could keep Russ, who didn't have that bad of a year last year, build around him, and then get rid of him when his contract runs out. But if they do cut him, then it's then there's a chance for a quarterback needy team like the Steelers or the Vikings or the Falcons or the Raiders to go get Russell Wilson. But because the Broncos would have to pay Russ all that money, Russ doesn't have to take another big deal from whichever team he signs with. He could take a base $1 million deal, still get paid the 39 mil from the Broncos, and then the team he now plays on could build around him because they're only paying him $1 million a year. We're only paying your quarterback $1 million a year you can build around him. So, an example of this is last NBA season, Russell Will Russell Westbrook was playing bad with the Lakers, so they finally traded him to the Jazz. Jazz cut him, and he would sign with the Clippers. The Clippers signed him to a minimum deal, but the Jazz still have to pay him all that money because they were the ones that traded for him. And if you're wondering why the Lakers don't have to pay him that money, it's because the Lakers traded him. If you trade someone, you're trading the contract. Which means when you trade the contract, it's the Jazz's problem. So that's what happened. No one's going to trade for Russ, but they'll definitely sign. So let's take this into consideration, okay? Let's say the Falcons go, nah, we want to go get Kirk Cousins. Let's say the Steelers say, no, we want Justin Fields. Let's say the Raiders, because they have further back draft pick, might not be able to get it. Let's say the Raiders go, you know what, we want to go get Russ. Imagine this guy. You go sign Russ to this minimum deal. You use the rest of your money from free agency to go get to re-sign Josh Jacobs, get another good receiver in, get another good receiver, and build around Russ. Let's say the Vikings go and sign Russ. Then the Vikings could go trade for T. Higgins from the Bengals, Sign a good running back. They could, theoretically, if the Broncos cut him and Russ only makes a million dollars per year from the team he signs with, in theory, if he signs with the Vikings, I'm just using the Vikings as an example, they could trade for T. Higgins and sign Josh Jacobs and all within that salary cap range because Russ is only on a one million dollar deal, so that's that's why things can happen. Genuinely, I think the Broncos understand this, and I don't think the Broncos should get rid of Russ. I think they should use the twelfth pick and their second round pick on defense, but we'll see. We'll see. Please subscribe.